Hey, what's in booking guys? Today I bring to you another, I guess, updated uh, Invoke Mac Knight deck profile. So I brought this to Locals. I've been playing this uh, recently, this deck, since I think two weeks ago or something. And then the ban list came and terraforming got hit to one. So we had to do some changes. So, I mean, to be honest, it, it, it does hurt a little bit, but there are some other cards that made this deck better, like Super Poly 1 to 3, Judgment 1 to 3, so we have more options going first. And yeah, and the format also kind of changes a little bit. It made the hard matchup uh, before ban list easier for us now. So I'll just show you what I played. Today I went uh, X1, there's five rounds, I won four. I lost one to my friend, Speedroids. Hey, say hi. Hi. Yeah, so yeah, I, I was, I was a mook, I guess. But yeah, he's a very skilled speedroid player, so it's I'm not too ashamed. But anyways, I'll just show you. Yeah, what? Profile, yeah, and we our, uh, we do have a deck profile of that guy who beat me, so I'll, I'll put it in the link in the description below. I'll put the link in the description, so make sure to watch that. And we can get, if we can get enough likes, we're gonna do a combo video, huh? With that speedroid. With the speedroid god himself. Anyways, so to start up, we play three best boy, Alistair. So the funny thing is, this card is not once per turn. So if you can somehow like set one or something, because I don't know why you would, why you would, but still, if you flip it, you get a search, and then you normally get a search. So it's very good. It's the heart and soul of the deck. If you see this, you're in a good spot. If you don't, it's awkward, because in some games today. Uh, shout out to Aaron, I guess, again. I played like Mech Knight Pure because <laughs> the whole time I was opening Mech Knights and no invoke, so I just did like Mech, Mech Knight Beatdown or whatever. But like, yeah, you need to see this card. It it makes you uh, OTK a lot easier. Uh, well, the name of the deck is Invoke Mech Knight, so this is it. This is half of why the deck is very good. And it searches your invocation, I guess, if I didn't no, mention that yet. And next is the, the Mech Knight lineup. So three purple, it's just searches anything you want. And then two blue. Uh, some people play three, some people play one. And prefer I prefer two because I don't want to see this. I preferably want to see this one. But like if I see this and some people don't play around columns nowadays, so I just punish them. I had someone today who had like three cards in the same column. So I just summon this and they go Ash and I go, okay, cool, terraforming, do my entire OTK combo. So that's one uh, good thing about this guy. It forces negates, uh, especially if they have a lot of cards in the same column because you get to search three if they don't negate it or you get to search two. And then the changes I made from the last time is only one indigo now and I added the yellow one. So why I did that is because a lot of people play back row now and I found it that uh, I guess last week I struggle a lot against back row decks so I was like I need something to deal with them so I just put the yellow one it's searchable it's a big booty it's 28 and you know it's a light from Mikaba it just overall it's really good in this deck because you can just search it it's easy to uh, search the premier deck I guess so only seven three two five yeah only seven some people play a higher account, but I'm trying to minimize like the bricks because I only want to see these five, like preferably, and just search these two. So that's it for the Mech Knight part, the monsters at least. And then the other monsters, two Panker Tops, I'm always blinding second, so you know, it's really good against Strikers, you get rid of two. Against Bloodgate decks, you get rid of Bloodgates. It's also 2600, so it's really hard for some decks to out. So oh, yeah, really good card, different attribute for Alistair Link. So only two, because it's only once per turn to summon it. And then another, I guess we're going to the hand trap part now. Another changes that I made is I put the Gamos back in the main because I found it that if you were gonna veil or something this format, you might as well Gamma it. Also, there's not a lot of good cards to veil nowadays. If uh, with Gamma, at least, you destroy them, so it gets out of the board. Uh, the only problem is 
the driver, I guess, because if you open it, it sucks. I opened it like two or three times today with the Gamma, so it's like a neg one, but still, it's a really good card. It's a turn ender sometimes. Like I Gammed a Gazelle today, his turn ended. I Gammed like an Electrum, his turn ended. And yeah, it, it, it's also searchable with Lambda. So if you're in a simplified game state, mid game, or if you were forced to go first somehow, you just search this with Lambda. If you banish your, like, let's say your Mech Knight, because it's a Psychic. And then the other hand traps I play, three Ash, it's generic. It's universally good. Also fire for Propagatrio. No explanations needed. And then the two Ogre. So I chose this over Valor because first of all, it's also a light, which is cool, I guess, for Mikaba. But also because of strikers. There's a lot of striker players nowadays and their greatest weakness is still Moltoro. So if you face a striker player who's really greedy turn one, you punish them for being greedy with the ogre because once you ogre their multro they can't send any of them back so it's literally just shizuku pass with maybe like one hand trap in hand so that's it for the hand trap i only play nine i used to play valor but i changed it for gamma in the main plus the ogre and then i guess that's it for all the monsters or so do spells meltdown no it's it's a search card it's it's bad as once per turn, but you know, it's it's a really good card. It protects your fusion summons from being negated, but uh, if they have Lancia, they can chain it to invocation. It doesn't really negate, so it works, but like, otherwise they can't warning you, they can't judgment your summon, like they can't judgment your invocation or whatever. They can't ogre your link when you're trying to search for an invocation when you fusion summon. They can't ash it, they can't veil it. So yeah, it's pretty good, you use it use this to search Alistair. And then the one up, sad life, terraforming for your fort field spell. And then now for invocation. So and this is another change that I made because I found myself brick on the third one a lot. And for my observations, not a lot of people play like too many hand traps nowadays. So like you just want to bait them with like the ash or whatever with your other cards and then your normal Alistair to uh, search this. You don't need three if you're playing 40 because it's a brick, it's searchable. So, you know, just play two. And I was playing Book of the Law and then I cut it because I wanted to try something else. And it was working well, I guess, for now. Uh, I haven't bricked that much compared to before because I keep op opening Book of the Law. It doesn't do anything going first, but it's obviously good going second. But still, I want something. Uh, I want to make the deck like consistent enough so if I was forced to go first in like game one I can you know not brick and actually do something uh, the honorary invocations I guess instant fusion because you use this to like um, fusion summon like you, you can summon uh, what's your name Raijin, Kaliga and Thousand Eyes and if you have Alistair Link, you get the search invocation. So it's basically like your way to invocation. So it's like you're playing five plus Alistair, you're playing eight plus Meltdown, you're playing 11, Terraforming 12. So basically 12 ways to access your invocation. And then it also, also another thing I need to mention is you play like normal spells like this because you want to be able to set them and then activate them because you want the column. So you set them first, summon a Mech Knight, do your place and then activate them after. That's why I don't play like a bunch of quick plays, like call by the grave. You don't need it if you're going second. Like sure, you can call by the grave ray, that's nice. But like, if you know they have a ray, you're gonna try to make Mikaba to try to negate that ray to come back, right? So, and then the next one's mind control. You know, it's free monster. You can steal like a link two or whatever. It's easier to go to ball sword, but like, again, the same reason, same reason with instant fusion, you make a column. You summon a mech knight, you steal your monster, you make Alistair Link or whatever, and then you go up from there. And then the other spells, the Baku removal, quote unquote. Is this player's pre this is player's preference? I choose Cyclone because, again, I there's a lot of things that negate like destruction or whatever. There's also the new card called Dark Sacrifice, whatever that name is. It it it's some niche scenario that could come up, but like mainly it's because of Orcus. I don't want their Babel to come back. I don't want Dengusu protecting their back row. Because people still play Orcus and whatever, right? And also, Strikers, you banish their Multiroll, they don't have anything else. So you can just uh, control the game from there. 
uh, I mean, what else? Uh, maybe salads, but like, I guess it's very niche. And Guru, you banish the field spell, they don't have another one. You can just kind of control the game from there as well. So it's pretty good. I, I find it better than MST, this format at least. Like maybe someday this would be a Twin Twisters, but I don't want to pitch my card, like my cards in the hand. I want to actually use it first. So I can't afford to discard cards with like Twin Twisters. And then the other spells, I guess, two Super Poly. I was playing three online and then I like, I don't like it because I keep seeing like multiple, like, yeah, it's good, but I'd rather see Alistair in combination with like this, like other, rather than this plus another one. So only two in the main, I, I guess you can play three if you really want to, but two for me is fine. And then the other, I guess, Mech Knight. This is good if you want to trigger your Lambda turn one, because you can do this in the end phase. Sorry, not end phase. Um, before you end your turn, turn one, summon purple. And if you have Lambda, use purple's effect. Search something, and then now end phase, you get Gamma with Lambda. So that's pretty good. Uh, I might cut this, though. Uh, I have honestly haven't tested this long enough, but it's not really bad but it's not really good either so i'm gonna try sky striker engine soon so this is probably gonna get out of the deck very much uh very soon and then the last card the last trap the only trap in the main i think yeah it's the only trap because it's searchable with the magnet link it, it's a monster negate for two essentially and yeah it's just a really good trap in general you can just negate monsters for free and that's it for the main, that's 41. Again, as I said, I might cut these two, like completely. I can just cut these two, that makes it 39. Add the third super poly if you really want, that makes it 40. And then you can put like a few Sky Striker cards if you really want. And then we'll go straight to the, uh, sorry, extra deck. So one Al Mirage for going first. It's also a fire, it also protects from card effects that could come up sometimes. The one link, link two, the best link two for the deck, I guess, because it searches the invocation or book of the law. And that's your way to OTK essentially. And then Lambda, because it's generic, it searches your side frames because you have ways to actually trigger the effect in the end phase. And then Phoenix for utility, back removal, plus it's a fire, so it comes up sometimes. And then this to search your trap, you search your world legacy memory. It's also a link to, like, sort of generic, I guess. You can mind control something or summon something, plus Mech Knight, you make this, search the trap, or uh, what's his name, memory. Then the wind condition, or one of the wind conditions, wall sword. This is ideally what I try to go for all the time, because this plus Mikava is 8,500, even without a monster on the other side, so that's what you want to go for. But sometimes you can just literally OTK with a bunch of Mech Knights plus, like, Alistair plus a Mikabo or Purgatory or something. So this is just here for like, I guess insurance. And then the Invoke Lane, uh, sorry, Invoke Fusions. Hi. Uh, Kaliga, because I want to banish Ray sometimes. For going first, it's really good against Thunder. You can protect it with Alistair, it becomes a 2800 booty. And then this one, uh, since I cut Book of the Law, I, I'd honestly like cut this because there's not a lot of, uh, what is it called? Earth targets, I guess Guru is a thing, but like, I never really summoned this guy, so maybe I'll cut it for like something else, because I don't play Book of the Law. But if you do play Book of the Law, you can uh, I, you can honestly just put this, just to OTK more. And then, let's see, the two Purgatrio, Salad is still a thing, Kagari is fire, Bailings is fire, Phoenix is fire, Ash is fire, there's a lot of fire things in this format, so it's always going to be live, you're always going to have targets. It's like your OTK machine as well, so... And then region for instant fusion slash if you have like I do side draw so sometimes I summon it if I use the draw already or like you can banish like a Hayate or whatever link like a terror top <coughs> oh cup cup speed roids like you can banish their crystal link so they can't reborn it or whatever so yeah it comes up sometimes and then only two Mikabla this time I was playing three and then I felt like I didn't need a third one because my goal is to kill them on the first battle phase because if I don't and and they have like a lot of resources in their hand or whatever, the, the game is just going to be an uphill battle from there. 
So I don't think I needed a third one because I always just, like kill my opponents in the first battle phase anyways. But if if you somehow don't, then just use your cards wisely. Just your cards wisely and like negate the right cards because uh, otherwise you're just gonna lose to like I, let's say strikers or whatever. And then instant fusion target also uh, also is a mind control in the way because you suck up a monster. And then super poly target. Oh yeah, another another. Uh, I guess cool thing is all of these can be summoned through Super Poly. All you need is an Alistair in the field, so it's basically free to summon them. So that's it for the extra, and then we'll go to the side. This is player's preference, but I'll just show you what I chose to be in my side deck. So three, there can be only one. If you're if you know you're going first, or if you know they're gonna make you go first, decide this. It's also not bad going second if they somehow still want to go to, want to go first. Because all of your most of your stuff are different uh, types anyway, so you can bypass. There can be only one really easy. Against salads, they just cry to this. I flipped this against salad again. I guess I guess I'll use salad again as an example. I flipped this against him. He he went like normal something, make veilings, he tried to jaguar, and then I just flipped this, and he just cries. So that's really good. I think it's also the best floodgate of the format. So it's not bad. And then triple judgment for going first. Some people actually even lead me because last week I got even lead. Like when I went first, he made me go first. I would set up like four interruptions and then he just even leads me. And I was like, oh no. So I needed something that can like negate evenly. It's also good going first. You can stop massive plays with this. Just use this wisely because it does cost a lot of life points, but it's always going to be live. So that's it for that. And then the tree draw. So the reason why I play Droll over any other hand trap is because this actually stops a turn or make it so that they end on a subpar field that you can break, that you can purgatory OTK through. Because yeah, you can play like Valor or whatever, but like this actually stops Thunder Dragons quite a bit. I had like a guy who played Mermil today. I stopped him with this, like against Pendulums, if they go, uh, what's his name, let's say power uh spell spell mastery something and then resolution you do this it makes it really hard for them to plus really hard so yeah play droll i would suggest it i don't play lancia in the side anymore because there's not a lot of orcus players anymore it's easier to deal with them than ever and then three infirm i play this as like the Baylor replacement i guess because not only does this uh negate a monster effect it can be called better grade and it can also be set just for a pre-column. So I would play this over Valor. It's up to you. If you don't have this, play Valor or like Lost Wind maybe if you're going first, but like I suggest playing this. And then the last three cards evenly. Draco is a hard matchup. So, you know, you just evenly them, make it a simplified game state, and then you pretty much win. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, you don't have to play this if you don't want to. Uh, you can play Red Reboot if you're really afraid of back rows because, you know, it's hard to... The hardest matchup for this deck is back row decks. So if, if you don't have, like, the right cards to deal with the back row, you're just going to have a really hard time. So maybe cut this for, like, a reboot. You can also play Twin Twisters, but I, as I said, I don't want to pitch too many cards. I'd rather, like, use a card, like, reboot that actually stops everything. So, yeah, those are, like, some suggestions I want to make. And yeah, if you want, if you have some questions, ask it in the comment section. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And I guess I'll, uplo I'll upload more videos. I did a lot of feature match uh, coverage today, some deck profiles. And my friend Top, he made first place with Magical Muskets. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so he went EXO today, so I'm going to upload that as well. So yeah, with that being said, uh, I don't really have nothing else to say. So keep invoking. Bye-bye.